This is a complex issue that requires thoughtful consideration. Ultimately, Hoover should be banned for individual students and ensure the most beneficial outcome. This research is about the giving of Hoover should be banned in a regular classroom settings of students in Adelaide Political Kingdom of Quezon City. We have distinguished that the great part of 10 students have been struggling and has the form of idea that Hoover should be banned based on our survey. It is important to consider the amount of time which students have available outside of school as well as the overall stress levels of students and their families. Ultimately, it may be beneficial for teachers to limit the amount of homework assigned in a regular classroom setting and to focus on providing with meaningful learning experiences within the classroom that do not require additional assignments to be completed at home. Statement of the problem. This research targets The issue here is that once students receive their homework, they can easily find answers on the internet or in their textbook. By the power of technology in this generation, homework doesn't really give any beneficial study advantages to students because homework answers can be easily found on the internet. We would say that some parents are unable to assist their children in completing their homework. Students had to take classes about 8 to 10 hours a day and that's enough for a student to learn and study only through school and that's the school system during the field. Hypothesis To answer this question raised in the study, the following hypothesis was proven. Number one, giving a full rich be banned among the grade 4 to 10 students at Adelaide School of Black Income of Quezon City. Theoretical framework this chapter presents or discusses theories that are applicable to our study. This theory helps us explain the concept behind the research and establish the relationship of the study variables. According to the data we have gathered, grade 4 to 10 students agree that homework should be banned due to homeworks are useless. And the majority of them believe that homeworks are just another difficult activity. Based on the related study we have found, in the first few decades of the 20th century, educators common, commonly believed that homework helped create a disciplined mind. By 1940, growing concern that homework interfered with other home activities, such as square belt and reaction against it. This trend was reversed in the late 1950s when the Soviet stance of Sputnik led to concern that U.S. education lacked rigor. School views for rigorous homework as a partial solution to the problem. By 1980, the trend had reversed again, with some learning theories claiming that homework should, should be detrimental to students and adults. Chapter 5, Summary, Conclusions, and Recommendations. This chapter presents the summary of the findings, the conclusion drawn from this summary, and the recommendations offered in the light of the findings and recommendations. Summary of Findings. Based on the gathered data, the impact of assignments to the grade 4 to 10 students of in Adelaide School of the Kingdom has fallen into two in terms. Number one, stress. Two, academic stress. Stress. The grade 4 to 10 students were once experiencing stress while having assignments. They're having trouble with, when having assignments because of how hard it is and how bad it is. Homework affects the students academically due to many factors. Academic burden. Grade 4 to 10 students feel academic burden by doing many homeworks because they get tired of doing homeworks no matter how much difficulty it is. Due to assignment, the students feel not motivated academically to, or to other school activities because of homework. Conclusion. Based on the above finding of the study, the following conclusions were formulated. Number one, the grade 4 to 10 students are having trouble with their homework. Number two, the students cannot handle too much homework. Number three, the students feel academic burnout because of doing too many homework. Number four, 
the students feel that assignments are just a burdensome and another activity, difficult activity to them. The following are the recommendations based on the findings of MCQ. Number one, it is better to ban homework because excessive work can have adverse effects on students' mental health and physical well being. Mm. Number two, homework should be banned so that the students will no longer experience difficulties in other activities. Number three, as not only students are the only ones affected with homework, researchers also recommend to take teachers' point this type of behavior. Number four, homework should be balanced and flexible, and flexible approach taking into factors such as student level of understanding, workload, and personal responsibilities outside of school. Number five, teacher need to ensure that all material is learned and understood during class time. Additional. Additional input of your answer. Additional answer don't. Additional sa sagot ni Jenna. is related to your theoretical framework and hypothesis. How can you prove that in connection with the theoretical framework? How can you prove that in your hypothesis? How did you form it? In your theoretical framework. The significance in your hypothesis. Your hypothesis is to answer the question uh, Ray, uh, giving of homework school be banned among the grade for 10 students at uh, Adelaide School of the Kingdom, Kansas City. When your theoretical framework um, discusses theories that are applicable to your study. So, di ba, yung theory ninyo nag-explain dun sa concept behind kung ano yung gusto ninyong uh, makonclude. Uh, uh, dun sa last part ng thesis ninyo. So, is there relationship yung tanong mo, sir? Yes, yes. The relationship of your hypothesis to your theoretical thing. Yes. How did you form it? <coughs> well, how about the formula? In your findings okay explain your formula and tools in finding the percentage about the independent samples I would like to introduce that or how you're going to introduce to us what the imp implementation of your formula tools in finding the percentage independent samples and how you get the standard form. You get the standard form or standard deviation. Okay, how can you formulate the tools and finding the percentage and independent samples? So you have to discuss and present. Even you're using the table or whatever and depending what you prepare. Formula na Yes. Finding the percentage. Kasi, kailan natin makuha ang inyong baseline doon sa pagkuha ninyo ng ano, tools or yung percentage na na-get over ninyo doon sa inyong study. So, how can you prove that na tama yung inyong conclusions? Kasi, nag-conclude na kayo, di ba? Mayroon na kayo implications. How can you derive that in your percentage and independent samples? In using your formula as a tool, as you have getting pa or finding or getting the percentage of the study kasi nakita ko gumamit kayo ng standard deviation it is very important to <laughs> instrumentation is better to to introduce kasi minsan hindi natin na nakuha yung kanyang pinaka main 
Sige, can you prove that? So very challenging. Your experience is uh, most unforgettable. Engage up your different activities. Any one of you agree or disagree? Why? Even in a simple follow-up na gagawin as an assignment. Follow-up for your lessons. Para continuation. Continuation ng lesson. Yeah, oh, oh. Ano ba ba? Ang punto, sila. ang punto ni Ma'am Ju is, ano ba may hinatapos yung hmm. teacher na activity. So may follow-up. Ipapakontinue na lang sa bahay. Ipapa-assignment na lang. Halimbawa, walang pa-activity ngayon, nagpa-gawa na ganito, hindi nyo natapos. I-continue na ba? Parang ba? ang alternative ng teacher is, i-continue nyo na lang sa bahay. Di assignment na yun, homework na. Instead na, instead na, ano po, i-gawin ang homework po, pwede naman po i-continue po the, the other day po, ano yung, yeah, continuous po yung lesson po. Uh, kasi, uh, yung pag, pagdating po sa bahay, uh, Parang may iba na po tayong uh, responsibilities sir, pati po may iba na po tayong gagawin doon. And dapat uh, nakafocus po tayo sa ibang bagay, hindi po sa assignments lang po na pinibigay ng mga teachers. Gagawin yung tulad na. Tulad ng ano doon na gagawin sa, ano yung mga gagawin sa bahay? Uh, household chores po pati po yung time po and bonding with the family. Mm -hmm. Um, ang ang focus po dun sa bakit po instead of moving assignments po Ma'am Ju, bukas dun i-i-i ako sa iyo So, you mean um necessary to ban the homework kailangan, kailangan iba na ng homework and how can it will benefit you if you will ban the homework Papaano kayo, ah, papaano makakapagbigay ng benefit sa inyo kung ibaban ang homework? Manilet daw yung kanilang stress kapag uh, ibinan yung homework. But vice versa, how about na I think Given ako, uh, given ang um, uh, homework is a uh, useful and beneficial to your study. Especially when you are taking up your mastery and kapag uh, nasa college na tayo, talagang you cannot avoid to have homework. So, do you think that the school should ban homework ano na talaga totally ban the homework special to go to your study or on your study For me, for me, for me, in my own opinion, um, banning homework 
maybe we will shorten in giving a uh, short giving homework homework but not totally bad in the homework I don't know pwede magbigay short lang I think assignment pero totally bad I think that it will also help you for uh, let's say your exam preparation it will also help you prepare for review, some reviews and research. So, kapag ibaba natin ng homework, medyo ano, parang nasabihin ko na medyo magkakaroon tayo ng laziness sa researching ng study natin. So, yun lang siya. Kasi depend yan doon sa subject kung pwede ka lang magbigay ng assignment. Like me, nagbibigay ako mga actual na, hindi po mga assignments. Bihira lang. O ay may mga time lang na kailangan. Hindi na consider as assignment yun sa'yo. So assignment kasi actual consider na lang as ako. reinforcement. Activity lang. Learning reinforcement nyo lang. Instead of banning of the homework, pwede ka naman hindi magbigay. Eh, bigay mo na lang sa ibang activity. O actual yun na yung lang. Yun yung nila. O oh, kasi doon, kasi sa study nga nila, iban. Pagbigay ka na lang other alternative na dito nila gagawin para pag uwi nila ng bahay, spend na lang sa family, time for themselves. Kaya nagkakaroon ng mental breakdown ang mga bata. Parang 7 days, ang, ang, 7 days a week, 5 days sila pumapasok. Then the rest of the the rest of the week na yun, magpapa, magbibigay ka pala for example, Friday ng assignment. Ikukonsume pa nila yun sa Saturday, Sunday. Parang ganun yung punto nila. Sa akin naman siguro, uh, pag Friday, huwag na. Hindi oh, dapat. Na, bigyan pa ng assignment. assignment. Kasi yun yung time nila for bonding, for them to... But, maybe Monday or to Thursday, kapag kailangan lang. If necessary. Hmm. Kasi, uh, kasi pinupunta nila kayo mental breakdown. Parang mga sa kanina, sa eight subjects na, na yun, halimbawa, nagkasabay-sabay magbigay. Parang torture na ang dating sa kanila. Siguro mag-uusap pa mga sabi. Oo, oh, sabi teacher. teacher na hindi magtabay-tabay. Para hindi magtabay-tabay yung oh. Pero na totally na ibang talaga ang hindi. Kaya nagkaroon sila ng Kasi naipasok nila yung depression, yung stress. Also. Ang tiyan ata eh. Ito bang joy yung stress at academic brain. Mm -hmm. Parang siguro sa kanila aral, puro aral na lang. Parang ganun. Wala nang lazy. Sa, sa amin siguro. Sa mga teacher, uh, hindi tayo agree. Based on your study and research. Parang natuto rin tayo. Eh. Oo, ma'am. Na kanila. we learn also from you na siguro mag-uusap-usap ang mga sabi. Oo, nag-lesson ng assignment ngayon. Mm -hmm. Na-lesson pala ang oh. ano kasi nakaka-apekto na pala oh. sa kanila. Mm -hmm. At least, kaya nga mag sa ano nila meron for teachers, di ba? Meron sila dyan sa reg... Sa ano yun? Sa recommendation nila. Oo, yes. Parang, ano, uh, vice versa. Uh, we learn from you, you also learn from us. Uh, teacher's table. Uh, yes. Mean your final word in your study for the future and generation. Thank you, panelists, for your time and for attending our meeting today. Thank you, Mr. Okay, keep up the good work for the next generation. Good afternoon, dear panelists. I am Margaret Bordeos. Our topic is about the effect of online class to junior high school students of Adonis School of Acknowledgement. In the name of Aga, the most gracious and the most merciful, first and foremost, we are thankful to the Almighty Aga for giving the strength, knowledge, ability, and opportunity to undertake this study and complete it its satisfaction. We would like to thank our respected teachers and supervisors, Ms. Curly Manning, and our advisors, Sir Ben A. Habitat, our panelists who support the guidance and professional attitude is appreciable in completing this dissertation. The parents, for they had been always supporting us, even though the toughest of times of our research and for their compassion and inspiration they given us, so that we can make our research possible even if there 
having a tough time too. We are grateful that they supported us for our research paper. Also, we dedicate this research to our dear teachers and principals for accepting us in this school and giving us the opportunity to learn and guiding us so that we can become a good student for the rest of our days in this school. Chapter 1. The Problem and Deep Settings Introduction the research is about the effect of online class to junior high school students of the Adonai School of the Kingdom. Online class started when the pandemic began. Many students attend online class to study and learn because they have no choice. Many problems occur as internet connection and noise there in the world. Online learning is more difficult than face-to-face -face class. Because there are many students who can keep up or focus in online classes. What is the profile of junior high school students of Adonai School of the Kingdom for school year 2022 to 2023 in terms of age, sex, year level, study habits, attitude towards schooling? Do you think you can learn from online class better than regular class? Do you think online class is convenient to learn more than face-to-face -face classes? Does online class improve overall performance? Open your copies on page 2 for our conceptual framework of the study. Hypothesis The following hypothesis was tested to answer the question made in this research. Online class is much difficult than face-to-face -face class. Theoretical framework. The research is focused to remove the online class and bring back the regular class as it will be. To help the junior high school students of Adonai School of the Kingdom focus more and improve their academic performance in terms of learning modality as they used to have. Because face-to-face -face gives more motivation to students who want to learn independently because they can do activities while interacting on teachers and other students. Conceptual Framework The conceptual framework of the study is known in Figure 1, the box of the page of the picture shows the research environment, the respondents, and the time frame of the study. The research was conducted in Adonai School of the Kingdom of Crescent City using 7 grade 7 and 9 grade 8 junior high school students as respondents. Access to resources. Online classes provided to students with access to various learning resources such as videos, ebooks, and other online materials. This made it easier for students to understand their lessons and review their materials. Improved focus. Online classes provided students with an environment that is free from distractions. This allows students to focus more on their knowledge and understand their material more effective. Effect of online classes on engagement. The study found that the majority of the respondents, 2% reported that online classes have positive effect on their engagement and 72% of the respondents 
reported that online classes had a negative effect on their engagement. The rest of the respondents, 20% reported that there was no effect of their engagement. The positive effect of online classes on engagement can be... What are the challenges that you encounter during online class? What are the challenges that you encounter during the online class? Internet. Challenges. Yung mga... Pagsubok. Okay. Yung mga pagsubok that I encounter you during online online. So, alam ko during online class naka, nakaranas tayo ng mga hindi magandang experience. Oh, marami. Kasi yung so, adjustment na. Na naging challenge sa inyo how to overcome that challenge. Like what? Now there. Online class activities. And class activities. Class activities. Online class activities. Yes. Distraction. Yes. Distraction. What else? What else? Distraction of environment. Distraction of environment. Like tilaok ng manok. At ang tahol ng aso. Barking of the dogs. And the kapitbahay away. At the kapitbahay ng away. Mamarites. And the marites. That's more. That's more something like that. And many, many to mention. Yes. Tapos, syempre, lack of interaction. Thank you, Pan. Thank you, Pan. It is for this. Okay, congratulations. Good luck Graduate for the next. We will concentrate on the impact of P2P classes on academic performance, student engagement, and the overall educational experience of students in grades 2 and 3 at other schools of Dakmanda. The findings of, it, of this study will add to the ongoing discussion about the future of education and the role of traditional teaching methods in a rapid teaching year. The significance of this study lies in its ability to provide insights into the effect of face to face classes on young learners and to shed light on the importance of in person instruction in the context of today's education system. The results of this research will be of interest to educators, policy makers, and education researchers alike as they strive to continue the best possible learning environment for students. This study will contribute to the ongoing conversation about the future of education and the role that traditional teaching methods will play in shaping the minds of the next generation. Statement of the project. This research attempts to measure the effect of this
one, face-to-face education has a good effect to academic performance of grade two and grade two of other school of the and of the Theoretical individual difference between two and three years from their experience in face-to-face and other school of the This was conducted in same school year 2022 to 2023. The next frame is the research process is shown in the performance of their research experience, statistics of the adolescents of the exam year, and face-to-face learning, may have instrument where to Finding analysis and recommendations are followed by implications which led to instructional redirections and finally move face to face learning of the great school to the movement of other schools behind us. The two boxes containing the feedback mechanism shows that whenever findings will be implicated in their academic performances, the direction which should be feedback to research papers. Significance of the study. Based on this study, face-to-face -face communication is the most effective way to deliver instructions because you can access more information and teacher understanding through the teacher and the other students' body language and voice. Also, in face-to-face -face education, motivation increases since the activities and resources offered by the teachers are varied and different. It also increases students', students participation and responsibility. Here are some advantages of face-to-face -face learning. To the students, face-to-face -face learning gives the students ample room for cultivation and growth. The presence of a teacher in mid classmate is different. It involves the mental and emotional aspect of the students. The students can grow more within a group of people learning together. The students can interact with each other without any hindrance or barricade. Questions are easy to answer since they can help each other within the class. The students can think more if they are in the classroom setting. Classroom setting is a broader selection of thinking. Students are encouraged to think more about their, about their lessons. Social interaction is essential aspects of one's group. It is always very nice to socialize with friends and classmates in school. To the teachers, teachers will no, long, longer have to, will no longer have difficulties in pointing the performance of students from the class. It is easy for teachers to know which, which end to is school. Teachers can rate the students based on their performance inside the classroom. In a modular setting, teachers can only base their grades on submitted papers. Teachers will no longer have difficulty arranging their topics and shrinking them. The dilemma teachers face is that they need to shrink and, de and lessen their topics to fit the module. Students need help internalizing the topics in the module. In a classroom setting, teachers can manage their topics very well. The omission of some of the topics is acceptable to the teachers and students. Interaction between students and teachers is precise and accurate. They can interact with each other and can ask direct questions from the teacher. Teachers and students will enjoy the classes when in an, when in an actual classroom setting. Scope and delimitation. This information is on the development of grade 2 and grade 3 and grade Pupils of Adonis School of Makina are The following respondents are 11 to 8 pupils, 14 male and 7 male, 5 grade 3 pupils, 
So, I you enjoy with your topic, di ba? Okay, so, uh, what sources did you use for data collection? In gathering data, as uh, in your gathering data and actual respondent? Okay, how, or what is the sources? Ano yung mga sources? Questionnaire, rather than that. Rather than that. Okay. So how will your findings contribute to the related area by using the formula? Can you illustrate the table in every analysis, in every data? Table. Illustrate the table or you can describe or you can uh, illustrate by discussing. So that's why I have no PowerPoint now, eh? no power presentation. Okay, so in our table for that's done, our questionnaire. So what have, uh, the thing that we have done for this and table is we value the yes as one. So, to get the mean, you have to divide the yes or one, so you have to add it. So, example for statement number one, there are 13 yeses. So, you have to divide 13 to 16 and you would, uh, you would get the mean. So, 13 divided by 16 is 0 0.8. So, that's how we get the mean. How about the media? So, we didn't use media. The mood? Okay. The, in, the instrumentation, finding the analysis. The instrumentation, instrumentation, finding the analysis. How could be? Instrumentation by finding the analysis and how could be the solution will be show or how can you show your solution? So we use survey questionnaire to gather, uh, to gather data. So. Okay. That was the same. 
So in other questions discussing about the theoretical framework, what was your hypothesis on that? So our hypothesis is face-to-face -face education is a good effect to academic performance of grade 2 and grade 2 grades of other schools of the Lingdom of KSXM. Yes. How about the other, Allen? How would we add to other answer? Say from Dwight. about James. James? How you understand? Sige na, magtagalog ka na. Alam ko nahihirapan ka yung sarili mong ka kaunawaan ba napakalinaw niyon how can you form it paano mo siya na ipapamuhay bilang estudyante James Bigyan kita ng chance. Picto. Bakit maganda yung picto? Nabubulol ako mag-Tagalog dahil kasi ako sanay mag-Tagalog. Even I'm not fluent in English. Di ba, Ma'am Jo? <laughs> Ang hirap pala mag-Tagalog. <laughs> oh, Alex. Medyo nakaka... Oh, yes. na ba? Ma'am Jo, may tanong ka pa? Nasagot na lahat eh. Nasagot na daw lahat. Pero open na. Para... About your implications and conclusions, then after that, we have your final. Yan din ang huling tanong ko eh. Sa conclusion eh. Your implications and conclusions or insights to the viewers or to the next generation, the learners. Siyempre, live tayo sa ating YouTube channel. Siyempre, yung mga manunood sa atin. To the viewers, ano po yung magiging ano natin? Implikasyon at konklusyon sa ating study or research. Magagamit kasi ito future, ano to eh? Ayan, pares pala kami ni Ma'am Joe ng kaisipan. Pareho kami ng tanong. Ah, yes. Yes, I agree. No more? How about you, Dwight? Our study shows that the positive and direct effects of face-to-face classes, especially yung ano nila, mas madali silang matuto, mas madali silang matuto kasi mayroong teachers na direction na nila sa kanila. And pinuprove namin ni Ev na nagkakaroon ng better understanding ng mga bata sa face-to-face classes. Kaya ang mas maganda na i-ano, i-keep yung face-to-face learning. Kaya, umuwi kayo din na i 
O James, paano? Paano pag may pandemic Much ulit, James? James? Paano pag may pandemic ulit, James? Gusto ko sagutin ni James ng napakaayos na sagot. Very perfect. Paano pag may pandemic ulit? Online. So, hindi naman natin ibaband ang online. But, parang alternative nga siya. Pag no choice talaga. Uh, pero hopefully, sana wala ng pandemic. Parang wala naman talaga. Gawa-gawa lang. Este, joke lang yan. Next, Alex. Paano kung may pandemic ulit? At alternative. We can do anything. So, kumbaga, mahalaga din ang online. Kasi, kumbaga, even may pandemic tayo, may mga... Diba? Ka, continuous hindi tayo nag-stagnant na na-stop because of the pandemic so, yeah, so very good answer so what is your final word? how about you Dwight? yes how about you James? I think James is nervous totally Yes, Alex. As a... Sinong leader sa inyo? As leader-leader? Dwight, gusto ko final word for every one of us listening the YouTube channel and syempre sa ating school at sa mga benefits listeners. Sa students na mga nakikinig at nanonood, anong ating hamon or challenge? Keep learning lang. Keep alone. Keep your goals. Keep your goals. Keep So, hamunin mo sila. May mahirap ba gumawa ng thesis? Pero ang pinakamalaga doon, oh, it is finished. Okay, congratulations all of you. Keep up the good work. Congrats. Okay. Ayan, dyan po nagtatapos. Ayan, dyan po nagtatapos kung ang amateurs B ang ating final defense here dito sa Adonai School of the Kingdom of Gasan City. Ayan, so nakita po natin ang gagaling ng mga student namin, di ba? We are trying the best na maging ano siya. Ayan, so kami po ay mga panelists, ayan, syempre. Very enjoy po at nakakatuwa mga student. Oo, sa mga... Amazing na nakagawa nila. Yes, oo. So, ayan. So only here at Adonai School ayan. Maraming maraming salamat sa aking mga viewers Sa aking mga subscribers Sa aking mga supporters At syempre sa mga subscribers ko sa Servants Channel That TV Maraming maraming salamat So God will be the glory ayan. Yes Thank you so much Keep on watching Ayan Ayan